The first thing to do is to look for the important information in the question. So Jackie is a bike rider, not important. One morning, doesn't really matter what time of day it is. She starts riding, okay, riding could be useful because that might tell us something about the question. So we'll just leave that. From rest, that is essential information. That means the initial velocity is zero. So from rest and accelerates at 1.2 meters per second squared. That's important information for a time of 14 seconds or 14 seconds. That's also information that we need. So once we've got the important information, um, we will go down and just list it all out because we don't want to lose any of that important information. So we've got the initial velocity equals zero. We've got the acceleration equals 1.2 meters per second squared. And we've got a time that uh, she's accelerating for is 14 seconds. There's one more piece of information that we should write down just to provide clarity and that's the final velocity. It says show that her final velocity after 14 seconds is 16.8 meters per second. Now we don't just substitute 16.8 into the equation we want to calculate it and then match or compare what we calculate to the provided value. That's the correct way to approach these questions not by substituting. So uh, we're going to write the final velocity like this, just to remind us what we're looking for. We don't know it, but we're looking for it. Okay, so the next thing to do is to find an equation which matches all of these th things together. So uh, if you look at your kinematic equations, um, there is one which suits them best. And let's just shift this a little bit, make it smaller, move it out of the way. One kinematic equation suits these best, that's Vf equals Vi plus At. So we've got an equation, we've got all the information in a very systematic and orderly way. Now we need to substitute into that equation the values that we have. So uh, Vf was what we're looking for, equals initial velocity, which is zero. That was that from rest part, that's a tricky part. Make sure you don't lose that one when you're reading questions or miss that one. Zero plus A is 1.2 times by the time of 14 seconds. And if we put that into our calculator, I don't have a calculator, let's do it long ways just for a little bit of fun. 1.2 times 14. 1.2 times 14, 4 twos are 8, 4 ones are 4, um, and remember we've got a tricky little decimal point there, we'll, we'll deal with that afterwards, um, and then 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1, so we add those now, and we get 8, 6, 1, and remembering that one decimal point in the multiplication, I think we're multiplying these, so there's one decimal, it gives us 16.8. That looks kind of familiar, so let's just write that 16.8 units of meters per second, because that's what the units for uh, velocity are, and bring it all back again. We can see that 16.8 meters per second was what we were aiming for, um, so we've arrived at it correctly. So recapping very quickly, um, we, we read the question looking for all of the important information, especially that initial velocity is zero. Um, we're aiming for the final velocity, which is why we've listed it here with a question mark. Um, and then we've looked at an equation which links all of those variables here together and then we've substituted into that equation the known variables and then uh, we've calculated the final answer and only then do we match it back up 
to um, what was provided to check with.